Hello? There's a fire in the backyard. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning here at Awake. Just had breakfast with Dawn and <clears throat> getting ready to go pick up a birthday cake for Ricky. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to uh, click that subscribe button and that little notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of this just life-changing dialogue that we have here on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. Had a little excitement yesterday. I was just getting ready to go out in the garage and work on the bike and I was sitting at my computer and I heard this banging on our front door and I didn't think I knew it wasn't UPS or FedEx because nowadays they don't even ring the doorbell or knock or anything they just kind of throw the package on the front porch and leave but uh, this guy was really banging on the door and I'm thinking what the heck so I got up to go to the front door and before I could even get to the front door he starts banging on the door again. Turns out it was our one of our neighbors, our next door neighbors and uh, he, I opened the door and he said uh, our backyard was on fire. Hello? There's a fire in the backyard. There's a fire in the backyard. Do you have a pose? Uh, yeah. Okay. There was a fire. <laughs> and, uh, of course, I freaked out and ran to the back door. And I asked him if, he'd, if they'd called the fire department. He said, yeah, they were already out there, but they're, you know, they were uh, two doors down or something. So, apparently, a fire got started behind the house and uh, it's been so dry here with the drought and we did have a little bit of wind yesterday and it was the wind is blowing from the north to the south and we were the last house and sure enough I go out in the backyard and half our yard is on fire burning now fortunately we had just had our backyard kind of scalped just the day before they had mowed the backyard and really scalped it so we didn't our grass wasn't very high so it wasn't like we had big huge flames but you know I guess I kind of panicked I'm trying to get the garden hose out and uh, the, I could see the fire truck behind our house but he was a couple doors down you know they were hosing down the backyard of our neighbors uh, who apparently got it much worse than we did and our next door neighbor the fire department almost knocked down their whole fence their fence is not in very good shape and um, by the time I got the garden hose out and got around to the backyard where the where the flames were you know where the yard was burning I saw the fireman kicking our pickets down out of our back fence and he kicked about four or five of our pickets down so they could get in with a hose and and uh, they killed it in no time good job Carrollton fire department they got there apparently they got there very quick once uh, we have a fire department not too far away from us a firehouse so they got actually got the fire out and then it occurred to me in the panic of the moment I didn't think all I needed to do is turn on my sprinkler system for our yard, you know, yard sprinklers. So uh, I did that and soaked it every, soaked everything really, really good, so that it wouldn't start up again. There's actually two sections of our fence. Uh, one, uh, one section, uh, a, a, I guess, a little bit of a fire got started in between our neighbor's fence and our fence. We have, 
we each have our own fence on one side of the house and I guess the fire got in between the fence and the firemen came over there and basically pulled their fence down so they could stop that flame but it did burn a few more of my pickets and one of my cross braces so that was uh, some excitement you know on the uh, cruise man's crib I guess I'm gonna be stopping at the grocery store here for a second grabbing a birthday cake okay I got the birthday cake what do you think and I also got some ice cream to go with it gotta have ice cream with cake right in other news around the uh, cruise man universe I have set up a account with rumble some of you had uh, recommended that I do that and I had actually set one up a while back and I just never really used it and for those of you that uh, maybe don't know what rumble is it's kind of a alternative to YouTube except without all the strict censorship restrictions that you get on YouTube and Google and Facebook and all the other social media so if you are on rumble uh, go check out rumble.com slash cruisebands garage and please subscribe to my rumble channel now I will start posting my YouTube the videos that I post here I will also start posting on rumble as well because I know some of you are already starting to boycott YouTube so if you prefer rumble I'll have the videos over there and I may actually have some exclusive content on rumble that I don't have on YouTube just because uh, YouTube is pretty restrictive on what they'll allow so I just thought I would throw that out to you and let you know that's the case oh also I uh, you'll notice on this video I'm wearing the Bond armor jacket again and all I have on underneath is just my shirt I do not have a windbreaker it was about 56 degrees when I left the house this morning and uh, this jacket is perfect uh, in that type of weather environment yeah I was totally warm totally comfortable I'm thinking probably down to about 50 uh, 52 somewhere in that range it would be fine uh, if it gets down into the 40s I haven't tested it without a windbreaker yet and when I say a windbreaker basically I'm using the windproof liner of my Olympia jacket uh, as my what I call a windbreaker but this thing seems to block the wind pretty good by itself um, like I say right now it's now it's up to 60 degrees but it's what I would call a cool 60 degrees so today I'm going to go back home and assess the damage on my fence on the backyard uh, maybe go up to Home Depot and you know pick up some new pickets uh, we have a cedar fence so uh, it's pretty expensive actually now wood is is uh, very expensive right now with all the supply chain issues and everything so I don't know if I'll get the fence fixed today uh, but I may buy the lumber I may get that done today I also am planning an oil change on the bike uh, oil and uh, filter and DCT filter and final drive fluids and the crankcase breather all that needs to be done I'm trying to get preparation for my upcoming trip to West Texas and I've got about 30 
maybe 3,200 miles on the oil that's in here right now and I like to change it at about 3,500 to 4,000 that's just me you don't have to do that Honda says 8,000 to me that's just going too long but I will uh, do that oil change and I'll be uh, removing the traction belly pan for the first time to do an oil change so we'll see how that goes and maybe I'll do a video on that as well. So that's it for today's uh, motor vlog. I appreciate you joining me. As always, thank you. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.